and we will see some clearing skies tonight and into the day tomorrow. We will see some sunshine and warmer temperatures tomorrow. In the meantime, a bit of a taste of fall with most of our temperatures around the middle 60s. It's 66 degrees in Alpena, 62 degrees in Atlanta, and 69 degrees in Oscoda. These temperatures are running about 10 to 15 degrees colder than what we had at this time yesterday. It is 15 degrees colder than 24 hours ago in Alpena, 12 degrees colder in Oscoda, and 13 degrees colder in Maya. Winds are coming out of the west at 15 miles per hour in Alpena. Winds out of the west southwest in Maya at 6 16 miles per hour and the windiest location is Oscoda with a wind speed of 20 miles per hour. As I mentioned, we have been seeing a few isolated showers but most areas are just dealing with cloudy skies and we should see some of this cloud cover decreasing later on tonight. There are a few light showers being reported at Alpena Airport with a temperature of 66 degrees, winds out of the west at 15 miles per hour and relative humidity at 56%. You'll notice here our atmospheric pressure is rising, so usually rising atmospheric pressure means calmer weather and in this case some brighter weather is on the way in. Much of the upper Great Lakes region is dealing with cloudy skies as a weak disturbance Moves, moves through. There are much clearer skies over Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota through much of the plains, and we are going to see some more sunshine through uh, the day tomorrow. Heading into the tropics, Dorian has intensified into a Category 1 hurricane, producing wind speeds of 81 miles per hour. It is forecast to travel toward the northwest, and the newest forecast here has it intensifying over the next couple of days to a Category 2 hurricane on Friday, Category 3 on Saturday, and then forecast to make landfall late Sunday, early Monday on the Atlantic coast of Florida and shortly thereafter becoming a Category 2 hurricane. So this will surely bring some very strong winds, some very heavy rainfall amounts, in some cases over 5 inches, as well as um, storm surge there for the Atlantic coast of the southeastern states. Around here, definitely not tropical weather this evening with the cool temperatures that we have. We will see decreasing cloud cover tomorrow and warmer temperatures moving in with partly cloudy skies throughout the day. Then a weak cold front is going to move through uh, tomorrow evening evening that may generate some showers and then it's going to bring us some colder temperatures going into Friday, but we will see clearing skies as we go through the day Friday. For tonight, low temperatures about 50 degrees in Alpena, 47 overnight in Mayo, 53 in Harrisville, partly cloudy and lighter winds overnight. For tomorrow, high temperatures reaching 80 degrees in Alpena, 79 in Oscoda, about 77 tomorrow afternoon in Atlanta, partly cloudy during the day, then a chance of showers at night. So for tomorrow, partly cloudy skies in the morning with temperatures around 53 degrees, a high of 80 in the afternoon with winds picking up out of the southwest about 15 miles per hour, then a chance of showers developing tomorrow evening with temperatures in the middle 60s. Early on Friday, low 51 degrees. By Friday afternoon, mostly sunny but cooler temperatures with highs near 71 degrees, a high of 70 on Saturday with a mix of sun and clouds, mostly sunny on Sunday with highs around 73 degrees, a little warmer on Labor Day, and Labor Day is looking dry. Partly cloudy skies, highs around 78 degrees, a chance of showers on Tuesday. Tuesday with highs near 77 degrees, then a little cooler next Wednesday, partly cloudy and highs close to 70 degrees.